Hey guys, it's Chad Keel. I'm one of the head instructors with natureconnectionclass.com. And today I'm here with the curled leaf mountain mahogany, also known as the Circocarpus letifolius. These plants could live to over 1,000 years old, making them one of the top contenders in the world's oldest flowering plants. So these curled leaf mountain mahogany plants, they love shallow, underdeveloped soils. What's really cool about these plants is they have a nitrogen fixation built into their root nodules, so they're actually introducing nitrogen into these soils and improving the fertility of all the soils where these plants are growing out of. These plants have an extensive root system which helps erosion control, meaning these washes and rightwood, we have a huge erosion problem. So these root systems, which are so large and extensive, they can actually hold and keep everything together in our monsoon seasons. The flowers of the mountain mahogany normally bloom between March and May. These flowers occur in very tiny bundles, and these bundles are referred to as inflorescence. And these plants, or the flowers, are actually hermaphrodites, which means they have male and female parts, and they're pollinated by insects. So after they're pollinated, you'll see the mountain mahogany, they shoot out a little string, looks like a piece of yarn or a feather, and that's actually the delivery system for the seed. So there'll be a seed with the actual string or feather, and then the wind, imagine we have strong winds here in Wrightwood, they'll get picked up, and that's how they actually go out and propagate. Now virtually this plant is not even used in modern herbalism, but traditionally it was used by most of the North American tribes. The bark of this plant is anti-hemorrhagic, meaning it could be used to help blood coagulate if you had an open wound in a survival situation. The bark is also stomachic, meaning it will help you promote a healthy appetite and it will improve a healthy digestion. A decoction has been used in treatment by Native American tribes to heal coughs, to diarrhea. If you're spitting up blood, that's dealing with that treating of the coagulation of the blood internally. Um, it's even been used for VD. You can make a poultice and sprinkle it on um, wounds, burns, cuts, even syphilitic sores. Also, you can make a great dye from the inner bark. So the inner cambrium layer, you can make a great red dye from this bark, um, which has been used traditionally by the Native Americans for thousands of years.